So growing a garden can be really discouraging, especially if you're not getting any fruits or vegetables. You're planting them, you're watering, maybe even fertilizing, but it's not happening. Here is what I learned from my dad. My dad, he's a biologist, so he kind of uh, obviously knows his stuff. And here's the first one. Toothbrush. This is my daughter's old toothbrush. And um, of course it's a battery one and it helps you pollinate your flowers. I don't get a lot of honeybees or flying insects to pollinate my flowers for me. So that means I have to pollinate them myself. So let me show you what I do. So here are some flowers on my tomato plants. So I'm going to take my toothbrush and just pollinate it like a little honeybee. Now my dad did tell me, I was told that pollinating in the mornings when it's cooler uh, helps the flower actually set. Here are my zucchini plants. See that fruit right there? At the end of that fruit is a female flower. I did not pollinate that female flower, so it's dying. Here, there's a male flower. So here, we have a female flower that was pollinated. See the fruit attached to it. And inside the female flower is the stigma. Can't really open it up for you. But here's a male flower. So I'm going to pluck this male flower. This is the anther on the male flower. The anther on the male flower has pollen. Put the pollen on the stigma. The stigma is on the female flower. So it's the same thing with our cucumbers. Here's a female flower with a female fruit. Here is a male flower to the cucumber. I'm going to pluck this one here. And I don't know what this is what other people do, but this is what I do. I just pull off the petals so I actually get to where the pollen is. And then I take this and put it in the female flower where the fruit is. And then I take the male, the male flower pollen and I just put it inside the female flower. It's that easy. It's pretty simple. It's not difficult. It just takes time and effort. And we do it because we don't have a lot of bees or flying insects that pollinate for us. So we have to do it ourselves but then we get fruits and vegetables and it's great.